Our next caller is Damien from Minnesota. Hey, what's up, Damien? How can we help you? Hey, it is uh, so awesome to be talking to you guys. Um, this is kind of unreal. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, huge fans. Uh, anyway, so I, I've gone through a um, little context. I've gone through a number of your um, programs now. Uh, I think about five uh, coming up. But I found my way to Powerlift uh, recently. Really been loving it. I'm uh, over halfway through. Um, and, uh, I've worked in the past to be able to pass all three, uh, compass tests in maps prime. Um, and I prime regularly, uh, you know, work on mobility when appropriate and stuff like that. But, uh, I've developed some in kind of intense left hip flexor pain, um, that pops up, uh, not while I lift, but kind of after the, after I lift that day or the next day. Um, and I've never had hip flexor issues in the past. I've had some issues with tight hamstrings and um, a little bit of a self-diagnosed posterior pelvic tilt that I've worked on correcting. So I've never had hip flexor pain um, before and uh, it just kind of strikes me as a potential issue down the road if I uh, want to keep uh, power lifting, which I do. So I'd love your thoughts on maybe what's causing that and um, what I could do to prevent injury in the future if I keep lifting heavy. Yeah, great question, Damien. And it's so funny that you just asked us this question. So I was just talking to Marlon Shamel. He's one of our trainers on our YouTube channel. Really, really smart guy. Really strong guy. Tremendously strong for his body weight. He also competed in powerlifting recently. He puts us all to shame. And I just had a conversation with him uh, the other day. He knows his shit very good. And he, he sends me a message and he goes, you know what's weird? He goes, I was having hip issues. I couldn't figure out what it was. And what it was was my hip flexors were weak. Now, this is not common. Usually hip flexors are tight in people. You find weak hip flexors in people that are generally weak, but people that tend to lift or train often, you typically don't like work on strengthening their hip flexors. It, it, tends, to, it tends to not necessarily be a solution. But in his case, it was, his, it was weakness in his hip flexors. He strengthened them, and the pain was gone. Now, the reason why I'm communicating this to you is because you did the compass test very well, you don't have mobility issues. You followed all of our programs. Um, I'm, I, I bet I can guess you've never really tested your hip flexor strength. Most people don't. So I'm wondering if no, never. Yeah. So I'm wondering if you actually have a weakness in your hip flexors. And then the second thing I would say is to look at core stability because they're so closely connected. Look at those two things. Is your core stable and strong enough to support the rest of your body? And do you in fact have a weak? hip flexors. And if you do strengthen the hip flexors, that might actually solve uh, your issue. Well, I can add, I want to add to this. Um, Damien, have you ever squatted barefoot and looked at your feet? Uh, I've squatted barefoot um, at home, like with dumbbells, body weight, pistols, stuff like that, but not at the gym with a heavy barbell. Well, I, I, and I don't need you to load it heavy, but I would love to see you record your feet. And by the way, I'll have I'll have Doug. So it sounds like you have most of Adam's our Adam's always trying to get foot videos. Yeah, he's got <laughs> yes, real yes, fetish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is not for my fetish, Damien, I promise. It's fine, I'll send it. Okay, so <laughs> if you, uh, I'm going to have Doug give you access to our private forum because this is how we use the forum all the time. And, and I'm always very careful to try and assess somebody over the podcast because this is very nuanced and very tough and many, especially for this yeah exactly mm -hmm. and especially for someone like you who, who seems to know his stuff right so i'm not going to just take a wild guess and say that something's weak or tight or, or something's wrong unless i could see you move but what i would want to see is i would love to see uh your feet in a really deep squat and see what happens now what could also be causing this is something very similar because i have a, a very similar issue um, and it, and it comes from actually my left, my left foot will actually pronate when I get really deep in the, in the squat. And that pronation also internally rotates the femur, which makes it really tight. And when I'm loading the bar really heavy, I'll get some pain in that hip flexor on that side more than the other side. So I would actually want to see your feet and see if there's any discrepancy from the left to right before I just assume that you have a, a weak hip flexor. So uh, if you could do that, that would help me assess even better. But I, I agree with Sal. You could also test what he's saying. Yeah, that would be great. I'll send that. I'll send that right away. All right, perfect. Thanks, Damian. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all you do. I, I'm a I'm a personal trainer, and I, I say I get cert I got certified through Ace, but I actually learned stuff from Mind Pump. So uh, thank you, guys. Oh, awesome. Good stuff, Thanks, man. man. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was it was such a uh, a weird way when I heard it from Marlon, and then it made sense, right? He's like, I, I would have never because I mean, let me ask you guys, how often have you no. <laughs> has an issue been solved because you strengthen someone's hip flexors? Right, it's very rare. Yeah. But, it's, it's rare to even check that. Yes, and, and I think uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what drill that was that really exposed that for me, and I think it was. Uh, where Dr. Brink placed a book uh, on my stomach and I held my knee in and then lifted my leg up and then tried to keep uh, that from separating and just using that to, uh, you, you know, really try and like, I, like isometrically squeeze and oh, hold. I've never even very heard of that. Difficult. So yeah. you, you brought your, you, you had a book on your, explain that again. So you have a book that you're, you're trying to smash into your, to your stomach, your ribs basically. Oh. And then now I'm like extending my leg out. Oh, wow. And then back and trying not to separate the two. And you saw a difference between right and left? Yes, there's a discrepancy. Oh, what, yeah, a, so what a great assessment. I mean, I can feel that just by pushing on my thigh and then doing that. You yeah, can so you feel sit the, down on your butt and then uh, we'll have to do a video yeah, cause, or something. Cause if your make, that, make that a video. Write that down, yeah. Doug. That's a, that'd yeah, be a great Because if your hamstrings are tight um, and your hip flexors are trying to stabilize and so you're pulling against each other, I mean, believe it or not, it could be weak hip flexors. Not common, but if he's got like all these great mobility, he's doing all the the yeah, if he passes and, all the marks otherwise. And he, and he hasn't looked there. I'm like, well, look there and see what's going I on. I would I would also though always look feet first now. Of course, yeah. But that is something that uh, I did not do as a trainer for a very long time. Yep. It wasn't until yeah. hanging out with Doctor Brink did he completely just blow my mind on how much of the stuff that we have going on all up here all is stemming from my feet and that actually is it so I, it's my left side and it's because my left foot pronates and i still battle with it so i have to really be cautious of not allowing that to now here's the difference with him is he says he has a posterior pelvic tilt i know you have an anterior pelvic tilt yeah do you think he really has a posterior pelvic tilt well that's what he said and that's what he and said he's a trainer well, so again, i have to I trust need to watch a video that's right because right. really a lot of times two people can conf confuse the two you're right yeah, it's you're because right. but because a, he's a posterior a pelvic tilt is it's, it's very normal to it's me. It's very, very rare, and it looks really weird. Weird. If you've never seen one, if you, I mean, it's like, yeah. I mean, how often do you guys see? Do you see it? I mean, well, yeah, because you're one right. One in a hundred. You're right. Nothing's better than seeing a video of him do this right. stuff. But because he's a trainer and the way he was talking, um, and if I took his word for it, right. Posterior pelvic tilt passes all the compass tests. Pain in his hip flexor. Uh, I mean, it could be the issue yeah. that I said. But again, there's no way of knowing until we watch. It does kind of speak to a weakness there. We'll it see. does a little bit, so we'll see.